When you're going out looking for a property, go out and look for a property. You know, most people these days are just sitting on property portals, sort of sifting through in the evening. You know, there's a lot of property that doesn't hit the property portals. So that's where, you know, really good relationships with the local agent comes in. It's important that they like you because actually it has a lot of sway. They want to sell property, preferably to nice people. It sounds silly, but it's true. You go in throwing your weight around, you're far less likely for them to ring you when there's a prime property comes on. You know, I have never lost a bidding war ever, and I'm not generally paying more than the other person. It's just basically being nice, and secondly, knowing what the seller wants. And you can only know what the seller wants if you've got a relationship. Before you start going house hunting, what you need to do is get your solicitor sorted out. And don't be a cheapskate with the solicitor. There are plenty of people offering £300 packages. Honestly, they won't do a good job and you'll be so stressed as a result. You need a solicitor who is a problem solver who you can pick up the phone and actually talk to. One person, because it will relieve an awful lot of stress because there will be problems. Secondly, at the moment, it's really tricky to, to get mortgages and they are taking a long time as well. So you really do need to get your mortgage offer in principle before you even start looking at houses. You need to look at a very good selection probably eight or ten properties in the area you want to buy so that you get a deep understanding of what the value is. So you know if something's overpriced, underpriced or about the right price. The fact is that asking prices are only asking prices. They're almost meaningless. You should be able to buy a property in a week. Frankly, people who've been looking for a long, long time is because their budget doesn't match their expectations. And, you know, there has to be a compromise. You have to be realistic if you can't afford it. The main compromise that my clients make, and I've ever made, is area. Because if you can't spare the space, then you need to be looking in a different area and don't waste time on a pipe dream. When on viewings, don't waste your time tapping walls and looking for damp. Leave all that to the professionals. You just worry about whether you like it. Because you are going to have a solicitor do all the legals. You've got a surveyor going in, and it's the surveyor who's going to tell you whether the house is okay. And if there's things wrong with it, there are opportunities in defects. With our clients, we never renegotiate prices on properties until we've had the survey back and the chances are that there's something wrong with it but you're using a professional piece of paper an expert is telling you that something will cost four thousand pounds ten thousand pounds to fix and that's when you go in and you renegotiate the price